In 2023, Figma acquired Diagram, the company behind four powerful Figma plugins, which is something we briefly talked about in the 2023 Web Design Recap video. Genius, one of the plugins, has not been released yet. Still, according to Diagram, its purpose is to be an AI assistant able to create fully editable UI designs from a simple description, work with any design system, and give recommendations during the design process. Automata is used for automating tasks, such as building a workflow that assigns the correct color style to a layer without one. In the playground file, you'll find a guide on how to set up this automation, plus others such as turning selected layers into fig jam stickies or combining workflows with variables. This is an interesting project, but for designers like me, it isn't that useful since we don't work with complex files or design systems daily. Magician is an AI plugin that can speed up your design process in three ways. It suggests copy, or it can generate icons and images from a text prompt. The playground file has instructions on how to use this plugin. You have to open the plugin, select one of the three options, enter the prompt, and use the generated asset in your design. With Prototyper, you can create high-fidelity prototypes in Figma using the open-source Framer library. You can define curves, timing, and delays, or make your designs interactive by executing animations triggered by hover, clicks, and so on. The learning curve is a bit steep, as you need to write code, but examples and documentation are available. The playground file includes five demos with explanations. The first example is the most basic there is. The rectangle moves to a specific location once you click on it. The location is specified in the code with the X and Y coordinates. In the second demo, you can drag a circle within a square container. The prototype automatically records the new coordinates of the circle. It returns to its original location once you let go of it. The third demo recreates the reactions on social media. The emojis have a hover effect and an animation triggered on click or tap. The fourth demo is a game of Pong. You control two players and your goal is to block the ball and not let it pass you. To control the left player, use the W and S keys, and for the right player, use the UP and down arrows. The prototype has complex physics as it moves the players and the ball's position gets reset when a new game begins. The last demo is a keypad. It is much simpler than the previous example as you can only insert and delete numbers, but it's still an interesting use case. This is it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful.